Justine, when I first started writing my vows, I thought the order of describing why I love you and why we're perfect together didn't matter, but since our relationship was built on the basis of a friendship, it only makes sense to start with that. You're my best friend. There's no one else I'd rather hang out with, and there's no one else that I can talk to about anything. I want to go through everything life has to offer with you, and at the end of the day, there's no one else I'd rather just sit on the couch with and talk to about anything. I remember staring into your eyes and thinking how lucky I was and how I forgot how much I love talking to you. Something that seems so simple, but something I really love, cherish, and appreciate. Outside of being my best friend, you're my other half. You're the perfect compliment to me. The yin to my yang, or the yang to my yin, whichever you'd like. Whenever I'm down or having a hard time, you're the only one who can pick me up. And when you're down or having a hard time, I'm the only one who can pick you up. <laughs> What I really love is whenever one of us needs support, the other person jumps into action to assure the other that everything is gonna be okay. Michael, I can't believe the day is finally here. It feels like just yesterday we were sitting in sophomore English class, passing notes and making cute nicknames for each other. A couple of years later, we reconnected and I knew that this time I would never let you go again. I don't know if it was your adorable smile or the goofy giggle that seems to change every time, um, but I fell for you instantly. I truly believe that we were brought together again in order to create this amazing love story. Justine and Michael, true marriage is the holiest of all human relationships. And we know that you entered this covenant thoughtfully, reverently, with a complete understanding of its sacred nature and with gratitude for the past and hope for the future. Marriage is a commitment to life, to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal, a joining that is a promise for a lifetime. We are all here to bear witness as you enter into the closer relationship as husband and wife. We all celebrate with you the love you've discovered in each other, and we support your decision to entrust yourself to one another for the rest of your life. Michael, I never thought someone like you existed for someone like me. You challenge me and even sometimes overwhelm me with your confidence. You give to others unselfishly and ask for nothing in return. You have made me laugh uncontrollably in moments where I felt like crying. You've shown me what it means to love and to be loved. You are my best friend, biggest supporter, and the love of my life. Justine, I love you so much and for so many reasons outside of what I just mentioned. I could stand up here and talk about you for hours. The great person you are, how hard you work professionally and to further your education, how selfless of a person you are, how sweet, kind, and caring you are, how cute you are when you're falling asleep, how you're a master pasta chef, and how great we are together. <laughs> Justine, you're my best friend and other half. I know we've already started to build a life together, but I'm excited to continue on this journey with you as my wife. Justine and Michael have <laughs> said that they want their marriage to have lots of joy and laughter, new adventures and experiences from traveling and living in different places. They want their marriage to have empathy and compassion when going through difficult times. Healthy communication always. 
On the lighter side, they want their marriage to be filled with buttery grilled cheese and hot tomato soup. Warm blankets, <laughs> good TV and movies, great photographs, fun new challenges like snowboarding, bad dancing to good music, smell of hash browns in the morning, and love. Justine and Michael, on the afternoon of your marriage, you stand somewhat apart from others. You stand in the charmed circle of your love. And this is as it should be. By the power vested in me in the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may now kiss your wife. Like a wall.